show. It's back after a week off. I know you missed the skitties. I know you had withdrawal symptoms out there, but don't you worry. We've got a great show in store for you today. Big Maxi Gorn's got Gorn in 60 seconds with Jack Watts. Bradley Green for a nice little remember when. And a skill tester with one of the captains, Captain Jack Trengo. But let's get things kicked off to a beautiful start with the beautiful man himself. It's Big Maxi Gorn in Gorn in 60 seconds. Uh, welcome back to Gorn in 60 Seconds, fresh off the bye. We're going to have two weeks off, but due to the earthquake, I thought we might have to rush it in, thinking we might not get another episode in. We've got Jack Watts this week. Are you ready to take on Gorn in 60 Seconds? I'm very excited, Max. All right, here we go. Mark Jamer recently signed a new three-year deal for the club. Do you think Colgate could jump on board to fix that garlic breakfast? <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. What's worse, Jack Grimes' humour or looking in the mirror every morning with that haircut? <laughs> oh, both pretty similar. Do you think uh, Sam Blees might volunteer to tag Tom Skelly this week? Oh, he will certainly put his hand up. Lucas Cook kicked seven goals in the VFL. Would you say he's cooking? <laughs> Heating up, cookie. You share a lot about Geordie Gisbert. Is there some days where he just talks your ear off? <laughs> Haven't heard him for four years. Is it true Jeremy Howe has already cashed in his cheque for Mark of the Year? Oh, yeah. What was the best thing about leaving the forward line? Finding the ball easier or spending less time with Lyndon Dunn? <laughs> Not having to see Dunny's been a whole lot, that's for sure. What's bigger, Mitch Clark's wallet or Troy Deepers' voice? <laughs> Troy Deepers? <laughs> Troy Deepers? <laughs> he said what's bigger, <laughs> he's meant to say what's deeper, and then he said Troy Deepers' voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. This is the first time I've ever <laughs> That's a goal and that's skill. Speaking of skill, here's a skill tester with Jack Trengove. Jack Trengove. Here we are for the skill tester, the best part of the show, Maxie. Stop spruiking yourself, mate. This is the best part. And it's going to be even better today because I've got one of the captains. It's Jack Trengove. How are you going, brother? Yeah, you going well, Robert. Good to see you, mate. Now, you've had a week off. Do you feel refreshed? Do you feel ready to go? What do you do with your break? Yeah, I actually headed back to Adelaide uh, with Tappy and caught up with some family and friends and just tried to get away from it a bit and yeah, relax the mind and come back and ready to go for the second half of the season. Well, we're ready to go, mate. We can't wait for this Sunday, GWS. But I tell you what, mate, I can't wait to see how you go with this. We went bowling on the break. I saw that in some of the newsreels. This is the same deal. We've taken that and we've risen you some some uh, $6 bins. Okay, so what you got to do, explain the rules. you got to have a kick, or you can do whatever, any kind of kick you want. One point for each bin to knock them down. Or if you can take off the top one, that's 20 points. But you're not allowed to touch any other bin. Got it? Yeah, got it. Right, well, I'll go first, okay? So I'm going to start. I'm going to go hard. Oh, but one! Not bad! That's it, right. yeah, that's, that's alright. That's not bad. It's, it's alright, it's now good. Set Come all on. Up again. <laughs> let's see how the captain goes. Oh, 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 not good. Not good, I'm off to a nice shocking. early lead. <laughs> One of the best things to find out about a player that you idolise kiddies out there, if you idolise his kiddies, what he does at home, you know? What does he do in his spare time? What does Jack Trengo do, do at home? Because I've heard whispers. I hear that you like to play with puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> tell yeah, me, tell me. Right. I've done one puzzle in my life and everyone just running with it. Uh, really? Puzzle what, thing. One puzzle? Look, I've done a couple. Uh, you've done a couple <laughs> of puzzles. You like your puzzles. Yeah, it's, it's that's good. all right. It's I like stimulate puzzles the too. Mind. I like puzzles too with my three-year-old son. All right, well, you go first this time. Uh, show me how it's done. We're about, uh, probably about 20 metres away now. You've got some catching up to do, but yeah, well, you're up to it. Or about four or something. You so. can take, remember, 20 points for the one off the top. It's up to you. Anyway, uh, here he goes. Steady walk in's gone to drop punt. There we go. Yep, down to two. Nice. Yeah. That's a catch up right there. Just yeah, it, small. It is a it is a worrying distance, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at that. I, and I see that? 16 v 12. Okay, fair to say I'm going alright. It's 16 v 12. Uh, he's got a bit of work to do. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Okay, this week we can't wait Sunday because Collingwood, I thought we were still making that upwards, sort of going upwards. You know, we've been playing all right. 
GWS Sunday, the fans are expecting big things. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, definitely. It's a big game. We're both on one win apiece for the season, so um, their first time coming to the G, so we've got to show them what it's really like. How do you see, what's a, what's a place we can beat them? I mean, what, what, what's one part of the game you reckon they're lacking that we can get them at? I think probably just because they're inexperienced, it's just about us putting as much pressure on them as possible, so we just got to come out with all guns blazing and really take it to them right from the start. Beautifully said. Now, you've got to come out all guns blazing because you're behind, son. <laughs> And I am up. So I'm going to go first. All I've got to do is knock some down. But this is about 30 metres, people, in work boots. I might add, if you can get a close-up of that just really quickly. Yep, that's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alright. Just hit some. Yeah. <laughs> just get some. Alright, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh. All I had to do was capitalise. Can't handle the pressure. All right, mate. So you're a bit behind, but you get. What's the strategy? Well, if you get the top one, it's home and hose. You've won it. That's 20 points for the one on top. But do you play for gold? I say go for gold, but that's just me personally. Or do you play for safety? All you got to do is knock about five down, and you win. All right, I'm going to leave it up to you. Going for glory. All right, he's going for glory. Going for the top the bin. Top one is coming down. Oh. Steady as he goes. Oh, that's that's super. But you said top one, so you don't get any. <laughs> right, we'll do a count in a sec. We'll just go and count them up. All right, all but uh, one, two, three. But that's not knocked down, and that's not... Nah, I think you've got it, mate. Damn it! How many is that? I'm losing, I'm losing a lot of these skill tests at the moment. You feel good, don't you? Oh, I feel Admit it. Good. Admit it. To yeah, meet right the skill test, there oh, is. Oh, no, it's an achievement that I thought I never could achieve. <laughs> Tell you what, mate, there's another achievement we want to win on the weekend, and we want it especially from the captain, mate. Play well. Thanks, Get man. us that win, brother. Cheers, mate. Good on you, Jack. In 2000, the Demons were heading towards a great final series. We'd uncovered some really great players in Brad Green, Paul Wheatley, Cameron Bruce. One specific game against Carlton, it was an absolute blockbuster. And my old mate Brad Green played a bit of a ripper of a game. I caught up with him to have a chat about it. Remember when this week he's with an old pal of mine, I played a lot of football with his bloke, Tezza. Greeny, how are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Good to see you, mate. Now, we want to talk to you about, uh, I reckon it's a special game in your career. It's a special game in, in my career as well, and a special game for all those people out there watching. Was that game against Carlton, the semi-final in 2000? Ripping, ripping uh, match, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, a, it's certainly a highlight through, through my career. Um, and, and not only because it was, it was a final, and a big final, which put us straight into a prelim, it was, uh, you know, I thought, how good is this? My first year, finals football, 75,000 people there. We're down by, uh, you know, 30-odd points going into the last quarter and we get up and, yeah, special, special moment for me. And amazing because it was your first year. It was a good draft that year for us, wasn't it? You got Cameron Bruce, yep. who played a lot of football for us, Paul Wheatley as yep. well, and uh, and yourself. We, we did well out of that Maddie draft. Matty Whelan as well played a lot of games in the back line there. So, uh the motions of the match, I mean, it was Carlton were going well. We didn't, they wouldn't expect to beat them, did no. we? You know, but we were just going on that youthful exuberance. The game itself, can you remember much about the feeling during the game and towards the end? Well, I remember during the season that, um, if you remember, that we got beaten by, by 110 points and then That's we right. went on this big run and we, uh, we, we didn't lose a game up until the grand final. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember Danner's going off his tree that day when we lost by 100 and something points. That's and right. then uh, going into that game, um, you know, we were nervous because, yeah. you know, they did pump us during the year and, uh, you know, as, as a young player, as an 18-year-old going into your first final, 
think geez, we could be under the pump. And, yeah, yeah. But, I, but I remember that, remembering that game with Dennis, he normally I started on the bench, so I remember coming on just into the second half as you do with yeah. rotations. It's and different things. now, isn't it? There's 110 rotations <laughs> I think a day. Dennis used to have about 10 or, 10. 10 or 12 <laughs> rotations a game. I remember sitting three and a half quarters on the bench <laughs> before I was allowed to come on the ground in my first couple of years. Back in 97, things so have changed, was, mate. Uh, um, yourself, though, your individual performance was special that day. You kicked a couple of goals in the last quarter, I think. How many goals for the match did you kick? Yeah, I kicked, uh, f- I think, three, maybe four. Yeah. I kicked three in the last quarter, so it was, it was an unbelievable feeling. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. And, and myself and Cam Bruce that got drafted the, yeah. at the same time, I think he kicked a couple of goals. And, and Cam and Bruce did the famous double fist pump. So we're <laughs> going to see that, no doubt, in the uh, Jack, yeah, if you can put that in for us, mate. The double fist pump that we gave him a lot of grief about for a long time after yeah. that. But uh, I remember watching it and just going, these young kids are going to be special footballers. Uh, it was just a great final quarter, wasn't it? Was. It was. You know, we had a good forward line. Yourself, we had Nita, we had Wizard, Schwarter. Mm. Um, um, you know, they were great times playing in that forward line and uh, being a young player playing with you guys was, was an unbelievable yeah, feeling just yeah. running out with, with all you, uh, the greats that I used to watch before I started. The, the club now though, mate, you've been through it all these years of, uh, of football. Now you've got a lot of young kids around you and you're moving into that next era, which is, you know, you're a veteran now. Uh, Bloody old veteran. You're, right, you're <laughs> an old veteran. You're looking all right, mate. You're looking all right. The club and the, and the way forward, uh, how do you see it now? And, and, and digging ourselves out of this bit of a rut. Newly's yeah. great, Newly's fantastic, and some young kids starting to yeah, show. Yeah, you know, the, the, the club's been a rebuild phase. It's, it's totally the whole football department, the coaching structure, our game style, our game sense is, uh, is all about excellence. Um, setting high standards for our club to, to get back up there and sustain it. Once we hit finals, we want to be there for a long period. So it's all about building, building up to that. Um, and I think over the next couple of years, you're going to see the boys up mm. there up there and go, going again. And, and Newley's been great with all that. Because it's a funny thing, because in, in 98, when Neil uh, uh, Danaher came to the club, we were ordinary, you know, the basket case. Two years later, we are playing off, or three years later, at the end of that year, we were playing off in the grand final. This is the first year Neil has come in, so you reckon he's got a few couple of years think, yet to start to build. Things take time. Um, you know, you look at West Coast um, before they started going up. They they were down the bottom, and then all of a sudden they went from I think fifteenth, sixteenth, all the way up to you know the top four. So mm. things can change around in this caper pretty quickly, but you've got to work hard. Including this uh, wonderful training facility in, you're in now, in comparison to the junction. It's a bit mate. different to junction, mate. Yeah, I it? never got to try it, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. You know, the, uh, the, the old go and get your ice and yeah. chuck it in the bath. Yeah, yeah. The um, dirty, stinking uh, baths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were the days they made real footballers. What have we become? Granny, yeah. thanks for joining us on Remember When, mate. Cheers, mate. Great game against Carlton, the uh, semi final back in 2000. Hope Great you can get there again, mate, before you finish. Cheers, buddy. Good on you, mate. Well, that's been the Robbo Show. I'm absolutely beat. I got beaten the skill test and I'm shattered, but, oh well, I'm going to have to regroup. Make sure you get there Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, GWS. We need your support. Show up and cheer on the Mighty Demons. We'll be back next week with the Robbo Show.